Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're here for Spice and Wolf episode 18. So last episode, uh, Amati, or Lawrence went to Amati with a deal and kind of coaxed his anger with uh, Amati's kind of, um, uh, ignorance is the wrong word. Arrogance is also the wrong word. Uh, Amati's, what is the word that I'm looking for? His, um, wh what is the word for like someone who doesn't have a ton of experience? Uh, whatever that word is, I don't know why I can't, think of it but yeah he took he took advantage of that and made amati take a deal so now lawrence is off to get the pieces of um uh wh whatever the specific uh uh metal is called i forget what it's called or rock or whatever um he's off to get a bunch of that from uh, diana uh as he now has he, he's got a rumor that's gonna start circulating and he hopes to completely crash the market so we'll see how it all develops in this episode if lawrence can pull through and uh get hollow back per usual feel free to check out the patreon and discord links are in the description below as far as the discord goes we talk about current anime past anime current manga past manga to have non-anime conversations as well and as far as the patreon goes you get exclusives and none gets to all my reactions, so feel free to check out either of those of your own will. Now that further ado, let's hop straight to Space and Wolf, episode 18. It was also kind of hinted at that, like, Hollow is, like, indirectly trying to help Lawrence by the fact that she gave him all the thing of Amati's assets and whatnot, and she's, like, kind of indirectly trying to help Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Pyrite, that's what it's called. Pyrite. Hmm. I think Batos can smell that he's trying to cook something up here. We'll see what Batos says. I also think the phrase I was looking for was that Lawrence, or Lawrence took advantage of Amati's naivety and inexperience. I think that's kind of what I was looking for, and he coaxed that, uh, that anger out of him and then used it to make that deal with him. Basically trying to make it so that Amati could not pay the 1,000 to uh, hold up his end of the deal. Yeah, we know that I talked about it last episode. Diana herself said that she really disliked people coming to her for business isn't from the explosive increase in price yeah something more fundamental mm, we weigh abandoning abandoning it against stubbornly getting it out yeah i like that I really like what he was saying there. Haven't you ever felt like your cargo was about to fall into a valley? His cargo being hollow? He feels like he's about to lose her. So he obviously is talking about like weighing, abandoning it and stubbornly getting it out, like saving her and just letting her go. Before deciding to abandon the goods or not. Yeah, Lawrence is basically saying, that's how fucking important this is to me. I weighed all of those factors and I'm still doing something that seems totally unreasonable. Hmm. You just gotta let Batos think about it for a minute. Just let him think. Just let him think. That was smart. That was smart of Lawrence to not say anything and just let Batos think. The alchemist may have some stock. Mm -hmm. Tell me an old tale sometime. Yeah, it seems Batos is much like Diana in the way that he loves getting stories. <laughs> I love Batos, man. He's great. We haven't seen too much of him, but he seems like a really great guy. Oh god, a wrecked wagon right there. Yeah, you see Lawrence was covering his nose because of the smell. What was it again? What was the smell? I forget what uh, gas they said it was. But, yeah. That's why he's covering his nose because of the putrid smell. Whoa. Mm, she let him in. I wonder what that phrase is supposed to mean. Like, it's super, super important business or something? I'm very curious. It's rare for me to have several visitors in one day. Did Amati come as well? Oh, no way. Oh, 
He's not the type to easily give in to others, is he? Just because of some simple gains in profit, yep. Yeah. That'd be my cargo? Yeah. Mm, yeah. I love the metaphors that like Hollow's the cargo he's trying to save. I love it. It's like him putting Hollow in merchant terms, so it's easier for him to figure out his feelings. But I said in hopes of finding things that spark my interest. Ah. I just need to- Oh, I like- That's so good! I love that! I love that! She's basically saying, like, the people she gives this password to are supposed to be stubborn people who can scream people well. Like, if someone's gonna get sent to Diana, they have to go through those people and get that password first for he for her to even give them an audience. And so she knows that the people she's given the password to are only letting the people she would find interesting come to her. So then she just takes a final look at them to figure things out. I love that. Just a little bit, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Okay, last episode, I swear to God, he got some pyrite from his buddy. Did he already sell it? I thought, I thought, was it like two or three episodes ago, he got some pyrite from his buddy. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Ooh. There's a catch. Oh. Yep. You may call it a reservation. Oh my god. Yeah. We never allow others to know who has done business with us. That's fair. That make that's totally fair. That's enough. I can buy it at a much higher price, huh? <laughs> as long as you bring me interesting tales. <laughs> God may pass judgment on you. Yeah, are there any stories of pagan gods and humans becoming a couple? <laughs> That's huge. There are many. Because <laughs> Brother Lawrence might have a pagan god with him. <laughs> pagan god. Oh, she said good luck. All right. To spread that rumor. <laughs> as long as it's cash up front, there's 370 coins worth of pirate. Yeah, that makes sense. It's difficult for them to sell at all. <laughs> Everyone, I'm flapping his mouth. Mm. <laughs> Almost apologized again. You weren't just an excellent merchant, but a merchant top to bottom, inside and out. You've never really thought of me as a friend, have you? 
That's fair. It's a problem that most traveling merchants face when becoming a town merchant. Yeah, they struggle to make actual friends because they're used to just traveling around so much that they never really stick in one place to make friends. So everybody they run into that are supposed friends of theirs, they just consider like business partners. そんなこと<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><
It's time for him to start spreading those rumors. There we go. It is super reliant on whether Lant can pull through with the rumors or not. Everyone's waiting to buy and no one's selling. Wow. 80 times the usual price. Yep. We're learning some, then we're learning some simple economics here. More product than there is buyers. Mm. Nope, that's not. Yep. It's gonna be a close finish here. What is happening over there? Give this to you as early as possible. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Lawrence got flustered seeing Hollow and Amadi there together. I would like the contract for the 500 silver coins worth of pirate. You gotta stop freaking out, Lawrence. You gotta stop freaking out. God, Lawrence is all over the place now that he got caught off guard by that. Is that the opening of the market? My god, there's so many people. What is happening right now? No, they're totally gonna end the fucking episode, these assholes. Yep, they're gonna end the episode. These assholes, man, I swear to god. <laughs> Great episode. Next episode's gonna be it. That's gonna be the climax of this arc. I'm hoping we'll maybe get a confession so Lawrence can answer that question. And I have a feeling Lawrence is gonna pull through. But we'll see how it goes. He got a little flustered there at the end, seeing Hollow and Amati together. But he's gotta pull it together and pull through and get this done. I have full faith in our boy. So, great episode. Like I said, the dialogue in this one was probably one of my favorites of the entire series. So, great stuff. We'll see the conclusion to this arc probably next episode. But I think that is going to wrap it up for my action to Spice and Wolf, episode uh, 18. Hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you all have a good day.